Hey everyone, what's up? Uh, I want to talk to you about fitness matching your skill. Now this is relevant to any sport and it's really, really important, but it's quite a hard thing to get through to people that you're training. Now, obviously I'm more in the in the world of combat training, boxing, Muay Thai, MMA and so forth. But this is, again, like I said, relevant to any sport. But it's a constant, I suppose, frustration for most coaches because a lot of people don't want to do that side of what they do. They want to just do the skills and they want to ignore the fitness because it's hard work and I get it. But what you need to understand as an athlete who competes in whatever sport it is, is your skills will only get you so far through that fight, through that match, through whatever competition you're in. And then if your fitness doesn't match your skill, guess what's gonna happen? Your skill is going to go down because no matter how much you wanna show that skill and, and do it, if your fitness doesn't match it, you can't display those skills because your body won't let you. You can't hold your guard where it should be. You can't serve a ball how it should be served. You can't swim, you can't ride because your body's just not functioning the same. So you need to understand that the importance of fitness has to be priority as much as it may be the hard stuff, it may be the boring stuff you don't want to do. It is something that has to be done. Um, sorry about the traffic in the background. I'm sure you can still hear me. Um, talking about myself, when I used to compete, when I used to fight. It is something that definitely won me fights um, when it comes to, particularly in kickboxing. I may have been beaten for a round, but then as the rounds go on, if you're fitter than your opponent, you notice them start to waver and your fitness comes through. You could have what I call, I've talked to in other videos, you could have a smaller toolkit, you could have less weapons. But if you are fit enough to show, let's say you have six good weapons, a, punt, a, a jab across, a low kick, a knee and an elbow, whatever you call it, five or six weapons, and you can consistently display those weapons through a whole fight, that is better than having 20 weapons that you can only use for one round. I think that's really important to remember. And again, like I said, I'm only talking fighting as an example, but this could be any sport, whatever you do. Make sure that you are fit enough to display the skills you have or use the skills in whatever sport you do for the whole competition, right to the last buzzer, right to the last kilometer, right to the last lap, whatever it is. Make it a priority, guys. Don't avoid the boring stuff. It is something that is important and you will thank me for it if you change your thought process, understanding that I need to have the fitness to match those skills. Think about it and uh, if you're not doing this, change your thought, um, your approach to your sport and prioritize your fitness. So also apart from matching it, you can increase your skills because if you are fitter, you're going to be able to get better at what you already do and then it's going to take you to the top. Anyway, I hope this tip helps you out. I appreciate you watching wherever you watch this video. Uh, if you give me a thumbs up, a subscribe, a share, a tag, whatever it is, it's all appreciated. Thank you very much and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks again. See ya.